Hey everybody, what is up? This is Devin Lavore and Michelle Lavore coming, coming at, at you ya. on this here day 10. We're yes. on day 10. Wow. Crazy. This is day 10 of our final push. 21. Fattening up. Oh, 21. Yeah, 20, Go ahead. 21 say it. days of fattening up. <laughs> on the word of the Lord and the heart of God before the big final push. And uh, we say this all by faith in Jesus' name. But uh, <laughs> welcome to the channel. Hope you will uh, be blessed by what God is sh sharing uh, today. I know our videos have gotten increasingly longer. Welcome to the channel. You know, <laughs> they're still short compared to our comparatively. Other <laughs> yes, we're storytellers. You know, we, we we write novels. Mm -hmm. Okay, we don't we don't do that magazine publication no. short story stuff. No, not that I'm against it. I'm just saying that's not who we is. Okay. <laughs> We are novelists. <laughs> we write like, you know, Left Behind it's, series. That's like so, 16 books. Or it's like War and Peace. Yes. You know, part books one. like that big. Part one. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's like, it was supposed to be a three book series, turned out to be 16 books. Mm -hmm. And we got signed a five movie deal. And just, that's, that's how, welcome to our channel. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, we do hope you guys are blessed though. You know, for those of you who might be new or newer, you know, we just want to just bless you with whatever is from the heart of God to you to encourage you and to bless you. Um, and also, we want to give a huge, always huge thank you to those who uh, support us and bless us financially because we are a support-based ministry, what we do. And um, if you feel led to give, there is a PayPal link below. And um, we just, huge thank you. Click it. God bless. How's Amen. that? Was that good? <laughs> <laughs> was that all right? Yes, that was okay. awesome. Good job. Because I was, I was, there were some preaching exits there that I wanted to take. I was like, oh, I can't do it. Ugh, I had to push through, you know, so. Yeah. You better go. I know, I should. So. That, that, that shepherd staff, I see it coming, you know. <laughs> yeah, so um, basically today I just, um, I'm going to be sharing something that for me is somewhat different than, um, Maybe what would normally the Lord would be speaking to me about, but mm, um, sounds like expansion. <laughs> mm, that's always good. <laughs> but um, basically, last night um, I, during our our God time, um, it was actually during worship. I was thinking about just how like the Lord goes before us, and just the mm. idea. You know, we talked about yesterday, like He's swirling around us like a tornado, but we're in the center of His eye. Mm -hmm. But knowing that. You know a tornado it brings destruction like you know the lord goes before you and it's like wow okay and then i was thinking about like even the um isaiah 43 verse 4 and how it says i will give men in exchange for you and we kind of touched a little bit on this um yesterday but as i was thinking about it i just had this question of just like well lord like it says in john 10 10 that the enemy comes only to Steal, kill, and destroy. <laughs> you have to oh, say that properly, I, I, right? Yeah. You don't want to say steal, kill, and destroy. Yeah. Or still kill and destroy. Yeah. Um, and then, but Jesus then finishes it with like, but I have come um, to give life abundantly. Yeah. And, and teeming, it, like when he said, and the waters were teeming with life. Yes. That kind of life. Yes. Yeah. And so it just kind of made me ponder. I was like, well, Lord, so are you, do you destroy or do you bring life? Um, or is it both? Like what, what's going on here? Because if the enemy is a destroyer, it's like, well, then God can't, can't be. be a destroyer yeah. because then he would be no different than the enemy. And yet... You see in scripture where the Lord flooded the earth, where he came and destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah, where there's just like, there's so many examples, even with the Israelites, they go into the land of Canaan. Well, in order for them to take possession of the land, well, he you had to depossess every person they had to leave. Well, I remember, don't think that's it. Remember the depossess? Yeah, oh, that, that's what, oh, dispossess. Yeah, I there see. we go. No, that's not what I was thinking. I was thinking about the battle where uh, Joshua, they went out to fight and they're fighting and then these huge hailstones are coming from heaven yeah. and destroying the army. And it's like the hailstones did more damage than the soldiers yeah. did. I'm yeah. like, wow. Yeah, or the Lord sends angels to go mm -hmm. and destroy a hundred and 
what was it, 85,000 85, Assyrians. Yeah. And it's like, in well, one night, it's one like, angel. Lord, that doesn't make sense. Like, I thought you brought life. Like, why is there so much destruction? And, and I really felt like God was just kind of talking to me about that because I think it's really important to understand, not only just in general, um, but also for our own hearts. Because, you know, um, the Lord can come in and He starts stirring stuff up in your heart and He starts removing things in your heart and it can yeah. feel like death. Um, we've had many videos where we've talked about just like the exposing of the Lord and how he comes in and exposes our hearts and and so for us honestly this morning there was just some exposure that God was just bringing out and it kind of yeah and I'm like Lord I was not expecting this um and You're going, shoot, yeah, I'm like no I don't want to do this but it's like okay so and even in our own hearts that can feel like Lord, you're destroying things. Like for you're me personally, death. I yeah. really dislike conflict of any kind. I just don't like conflict. Mm -hmm. So when there is conflict, for me, there it, it feels like the a tornado. It feels like destruction because my heart really just it hurts my heart a lot to just be in conflict or um, even seeing conflict going on. And it's like, man, Lord, like why? Why do you do this? It's almost like conflict, bad. Yes. No conflict, good. Exactly. <laughs> In my perfect world, there is no conflict. And it's amazing. Yeah. Life is grand. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and in the kingdom of heaven, that's the way it will be. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like, okay, so Lord, how... What are you doing in these times when there is destruction? And I really felt like God gave me a few examples. Um, one of the things that... Um, the Lord was really saying is like he doesn't he is not actually destroying in the sense of how we see it yeah um, you know That's good. when Man. when something has for example with trees they're they're growing but if that tree has a branch that has died and somebody comes along and cuts it prunes the tree you would you be saying oh you've just destroyed the tree you're bringing destruction it's like <laughs> no what you're doing is actually bringing more life to the tree because mm -hmm. that branch that is already dead needs to be removed yeah. and and that's really what god is doing he removes the things that actually are already dead or causing decay it's wow. just like with um you cool. know even in your body like if you were to get some sort of disease like cancer or something like that those basically those cells have mutated they've become something that they were not meant to be and they start bringing death to your body mm -hmm. well if a doctor then comes in and says i'm going to destroy those cells you wouldn't you wouldn't think of it as something negative it wouldn't be perceived as something that, oh, well, that's just wrong. How could you do that? You're destroying something. But what it's, you have to go through is painful. Yeah. But what you have to go through hurts. It's just like you don't like it. It's uncomfortable. And the way you feel afterwards, that can't be good. Yeah. Right? That's the thinking. Yeah. Right? <laughs> but but then but you you know that, okay, if I go through these things, it actually is the end result is life because yeah. I'm going to be able to live because this cancerous thing is no longer in me. Um, and and so, um, and the other example that the Lord was giving to me was a garden. Um, if And in a garden, you have all these beautiful flowers and plants and trees. But I just want to let you know I'm hearing this for the first time like you guys, so go ahead. I'm just a, so, I'm just a subscriber at this point. <laughs> so so as, as there's this... Um, garden right you you have all your beautiful trees and plants growing but a lot of times what starts growing too are the weeds mm. and as a gardener as a good gardener you're gonna go in and you're gonna start removing the weeds and mm. and you could see that as well a weed is a plant it you know isn't it life it like life. How, how can you destroy that yeah. well it's like but you know that well this weed is actually going to take away from the beauty of all the plants that I've actually put there. I didn't put that there. It's right. not even supposed to be there. And so you remove it. It's a, it's a botanical virus. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no, it really is. <laughs> because there are certain things that it, it will take over. 
it, it can choke out the plants that are already there and that are good. That's true. Um, and Because so, it wraps around the roots. It does. The roots of a good uh, plant and it squeezes, it just choke. it sucks the life. It's a parasite. Yeah. You know, it messes up the soil. I'm sure there's some other farming, gardening people out there that'll be like, here, let me correct you. Let me tell you what really happens. Yeah. But you get the point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So God's not bringing destruction. He is simply removing that which is actually already dead or causing death. Yeah. And and so we really have to so that see there can be life. Yeah. You yeah. really see the heart of God. God's heart is not to just destroy everything. He got angry, he's upset. People aren't doing what he wants to do, so he's going to come down. He turned and, into a three-year-old. And and just that you needs know, a nap. Yeah, <laughs> take <laughs> take everything out, and you know because the why did God flood the earth? Well, one he he did save. He saved Noah and his family. Why? Because they were righteous. They their hearts were for him. They're they're they were found. Um, right before the Lord but he brought the flood upon the earth because he knew like at that point it was just going to continue yeah. and there would just be devastation it was overgrown and and it was like okay I have to it pains me to have to do this but it has to be done it it's like okay well you know I know that you're you're in a lot of pain you have this lump here but, and I know it's gonna be painful to take you through the surgery process, but if I don't, you yourself are not gonna live. And, and that's what God does with our hearts. Um, and I think that it can, you can kind of lose sight of, or at least I can, you lose sight of the heart of God behind what he's doing. And so when it's like you have exposure moments, and, and for really an exposure moment is really, I think it's a place in your heart where maybe you, you've been triggered, maybe there's a trauma or there's a place of immaturity. Um, it could be um, just anything like that, that mm -hmm. gets, you know, maybe. Um, Those are good examples. Yeah, just, just the trauma that, and the immaturity, that's about where it comes from most yeah. of the time. A lot of times we're triggered by past events mm -hmm. that have hurt us and therefore we come against, we're not coming against, we come into an experience with someone and it's like, or some other situation and we, we remember, we're triggered because we remember what happened last time and we think, oh, this is going to be just like that. No. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so and it the can, Lord likes to bring those things out to show does. you, no, no, it doesn't have to be like that, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so it's like mm -hmm. there you you'll just come into usually they're they're pop surprise yeah. quizzes. It's not scheduled. It's not <laughs> scheduled. Yeah, you're not going, All right, hey, so in about five minutes we're gonna have a little exposure here and yep. you know. a little heart trigger that's gonna kinda <laughs> cause panic and fear. Yeah. In five, four no, all kidding. right so how do you deal with it you know and you're like oh i got my armor on yeah. i'm ready and it's like no that's nope. not how it works a lot of times it, it just comes you know yep. suddenly you're you find yourself in a place where your heart is just like like fight or flight yeah the, exactly <laughs> the fight or flight and either yeah. you're fighting or you're fleeing yeah. <laughs> flighting flighting <laughs> fighting or flighting but um but it's like in those moments, that's when the Lord is like, he's usually coming in and he's trying to show you areas of your heart where he really wants to bring victory. Mm -hmm. um, we call those all our 444 moments. Um, that Triple comes, fours. Um, from, I've already seen one doing this video. Yeah, from Psalm uh, 44 verse 4, which is, um, it says, command victories, um, O God, on behalf of uh, Jacob. Yeah more or less that's basically what it says yeah. and and so it's about the lord bringing about victories but a lot of times in order to bring the victory you have to expose the enemy you have to expose what's what's behind the lines yeah. um there's gotta because, be something coming against you yeah if you're gonna overcome well what's in your way to overcome you yeah know? and and so then the lord has these moments where he's like hey this is what's going on let's let's overcome this mm -hmm. um but a lot of times you have to overcome what you're dealing with in your heart. What's going on? What's how raging? It's, uh, how it's affecting you? you. Yeah, you it's know, if it's you, like, yeah. oh man, it's making you angry or sad or or it's starting, you're shutting down. Well, you have to, the Lord can help you through just 
overcoming those things so that you can move forward. Well, because the way you're dealing with it when you have a trigger and it's not good and God's trying to expose that, he's like, that's not going to lead to life. Yeah, exactly. You like, oh, there's, oh gosh, I got to, oh. that's not going to lead to life. Mm -hmm. You're, 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 you're bound by fear. Or you're bound by exactly. whatever thing. And he's like, you, you, and this is the word of the Lord. The word of the Lord is like, listen, you're actually not bound by that anymore. I have set you free. Now let me show you and lead you into the freedom that I've already purchased for you, that you already have for free because of my blood and the cross. You get, It's yours. Mm -hmm. It's like a kid going up to the cabinet, open up, getting some cereal. You know, come on, let's go get some freedom. It's there. It's already paid for. Mm -hmm. It's in the cabinet. You just got to get a bowl and some milk. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like, that's what the Lord is. It's like, no, no, no cabinets are bad. Spiders are in cabinets. Ah, no. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. And so you have to deal with like, well, hold on. Whoa. Oh, wow. We got some work to do. Yeah. You see? <laughs> and so you think, come on, I'm going to bring you to the cabinet. What? You're, you're bringing me to the cabinet where the spiders are? You hate me. You don't like me. You don't want, you know? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, like, that's not true. Come yeah. on. Let me show you. But, but, well, didn't you just show me. Show me right here. Well, no, I got to take you to the cabinet. No, mm. no. You know what I mean? Is that a good picture of what's yes. going on inside? Yes, yes. <laughs> very good picture. <laughs> Thank you. Autographs when I see you in person. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so God, he's just, he's bringing us through a process. But I also think that it's important to um, just keep that, Keep the heart of God in mind because, you know, I think even Abraham, when the Lord came to visit him and said, hey, you're going to have a son, then, mm -hmm. you know, basically by this season next year, you're going to have a son. He, that was the same time he was going to go to Sodom and Gomorrah and destroy it. So then with Abraham, he was bringing just a blessing, mm -hmm. um, but then he was also bringing destruction, but really it's like God's like I am I am bringing life but I also need to remove the things that could harm this life that I'm bringing yeah um, and and so I think part of that is just like even in our own life like as God pours out his blessing upon his people mm -hmm. don't we don't don't be surprised that at the same time you're gonna see um, destruction possibly around you like or the tornado. yeah like yeah. the tornado because <clears throat> god's like i'm actually removing this these things because they were dead already and and, and they won't repent and so i'm you coming know? and and i am moving things out of the way um but i am coming because i'm giving you life mm. and and an abundant yeah. life and yeah. so i'm going to remove the things that need to be removed um, and you see that even when um, the Israelites were going into the promised land. Um, I forget the exact scripture, but I remember reading, it was talking about there was a fullness, the, a fullness to really the sin of Canaan mm -hmm. and the land yeah. that God was waiting for. It was yeah. like he was waiting for the cup. Like of fill up his the wrath. measure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The cup of his wrath. It was like this cup was had a certain point mm -hmm. where then God was like okay that's too much it and so now I'm gonna come and I'm gonna destroy because it's the wickedness is so great well and it said God says that quite a few times throughout mm -hmm. scripture it's almost like there's a measurement and it's just like I'm gonna be giving you mercy up until that point but man all the mercy I'm giving you you're still filling up this cup of wickedness and you're not replacing it with my mercy mm -hmm. it's gonna get to this point it's like fine if you want to keep doing that then let the cup fill up because when the cup fills up I'm just gonna pour out my judgment on you mm -hmm. you're gonna, I'm gonna pour out my own you, everything that you filled this cup up with in your wickedness I'm gonna pour it right back out on you mm -hmm. and it's like woo. yeah and so no just, thank you i'll take the mercy for yeah. infinity alex yeah. <laughs> okay <laughs> yes and and so so when the israelites came into the land that in and of itself was the lord pouring out the cup um that they mm -hmm. had already filled mm -hmm. um and by like you said not allowing for the mercy of God to come in because we already know Nineveh is a perfect example of mm -hmm. you know a city that it, they were not Jewish um, but when the prophet came to them Jonah and he said hey guys 
your city is about to get destroyed unless you repent. They repented and God said, okay, I'm not going to destroy you. And, and so God is not, it's not just because, oh, well, you're not my people, so I'm just going to destroy you. No, he's still a God They're that's saying, at all of us, yeah, the entire <laughs> world, we are it's his. All his yeah. and, and so um, his heart really is still a heart of love, and it's a heart of life. And he just is going to they'll remove the things which are causing death because they've basically already died. It's decay. It's, um, and he doesn't want that to spread. And, and so that's just really um, what I feel like God wanted to share today. Um, just well, kind can of I share another thing? Mm -hmm. With Joshua and going around Jericho seven times, who knows that from God's perspective, he's like, listen, I'm going to give them one more chance to repent mm -hmm. and give them one more shot. If they don't do it in the seven days, I'm going to knock them out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they're, they're like a wart on the earth. I'm going to just, I'm going to circle that wart. I'm going to say, you going to repent? You're going to go down off the face of the earth? You're going to bow down? You're going to humble yourself? Nope. All right. I'm going to lance you off. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that could well, have been. And even there you see with Rahab, who was mm -hmm. in Jericho. She was in her own little ark room. Yeah, she was. Because <laughs> she saw like, okay, the Lord is with you. I want to be on your side. And mm -hmm. therefore she she received um, uh, an inheritance of life with Israel, with the Lord. Wow. Yeah, that's amazing. Well, I think that's all that we have for you guys um, today about just, you know, I think just really seeing the heart of God when he comes, when there is um, destruction, to see it, um, it's very different than the enemy. Oh, that's very the other different. thing I wanted to talk about, actually. Ah, addendum me. alert. <laughs> addendum alert. <laughs> but and that was something that, that God was just like, I want to make it very clear. He's like, when the enemy comes to destroy, what he is destroying is life. Is life. Yes. It is the very. He That's comes right. into the garden. He the sees opposite. the. He sees the weeds and he's like, "Yes, this is awesome." Now let me go trample Let's, the flowers yeah. and cut down the trees. And he destroys life. And don't trample the pansies. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Little movie quote humor. What was but, that Father of the Bride? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and don't trample the pansies. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I love that movie. Yeah, I'm because, not I editing think it was this the second one. one. The second one yeah, it was because yeah. he sold the house. Yeah. That's right. That's but, right. But, um. <laughs> Welcome to our family. <laughs> yes. But it's just like, but that's the thing. Like the enemy, he really does. He comes to destroy. He's going to see there's life there. I want to snuff it out. Yep. I want to wow, get rid good. of it. Wow. Whereas God said what he Praise destroys is already dead. Yep. And it, it actually is bringing more destruction. See, so God knows about zombies. He knows how to be a zombie hunter. Anyway, <laughs> for all my video game peoples out there. <laughs> but, but, and so, you know, to just know and distinguish the difference. Because I think the enemy, he wants to come in and be like, see, God's no different than me. He does the same thing. Yeah. He's out to destroy. He kills people. He does this and he does that. And it's like... No, it's completely different. God is like, I've come to give life, and I'm always ready to extend my mercy. I'm yeah. always ready to to lift people up who are have hearts of repentance. Mm -hmm. But he's also a good father, and he's like, I'm not going to allow a cancerous tumor to continue to grow. I'm going to take you to on, the cabinet eventually and show yeah. you there's no spiders in there. Exactly. I'm not going to have my people walking in fear. I'm not going to have um, just... Just if there are things on this earth that are causing my own children to just stumble and fall, like I want to remove those things. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm gonna come in and 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 bring life. That's what I do. I'm gonna keep weeding the gardens. Um, and right here and out there. Exactly. There's a window there. <laughs> <laughs> and and so to really just see God's <clears throat> heart behind it and. Mm -hmm. It is, I whereas the enemy really is, he is just out to completely destroy yeah. um, and and continue, you know, even creating more destruction. Mm -hmm. And so, um, so we just have to see God's heart behind what he does and why he does it. And um, just He's know that- He's a doctor father. He is. <laughs> <laughs> Where the enemy is just a destroyer. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So, 
that is what we have to share today. Is that the and true end? Yes, that is the true you end. Did, you did a Devon end there, did. didn't you? Mm. Oh, I'm so proud of you, girl. <laughs> Give me a kiss. No, I'm <laughs> and, That's my um, wife. Mm. <laughs> did a little addendumized ending. Love it. So then preached uh, a little. Mm. <laughs> Chip off the old block. Yep. I've, I've been trained well. So, I just called myself an old block. It's messed up. It's <laughs> messed up. <laughs> anyway, so um, we pray that you guys are blessed by this, and we will see you again tomorrow. Tomorrow. All right. Bye. Bye, guys. Love ya.